Wednesday is a preview for Robbo vs Swansea City in the Skype Championship that's taking place this Saturday. Uh, let's just get straight into it. So obviously we're coming off the back of a one all um, draw against Brentford. Obviously uh, they took the lead um, early on into the second half after a Raquel Norton red card and then we uh, got back into the game from a free kick from Conor Roberts, 10 minutes to, uh, Conor Horan, sorry, 10 minutes to go. Um, and, you know, he's proven that he's a, a Premier League quality player, so hopefully more to come from him. But uh, the team as a whole, uh, we're on unbeaten run this season, um, to the start of this year anyway. Um, and overall it's been a good season for us, um, but hopefully now we can try and extend the gap on those below and hopefully close the gap on Norwich above and try and uh, cement our second place spot. But yeah, what's uh, your thoughts anyway? I mean, I think, I think we should go into this game with quite a bit of confidence. I think I was a bit overconfident about the Brentford game, but I think um, in this game it's more I think we, can, we definitely have enough players to beat them. Um, Obviously, we do have um, that red card from Norton, which is quite crucial in the last game, to be honest. We could have possibly lost it, but we did get a goal in the end. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't know how... Well, I, I'm really interested that um, the, the, the line-up that Cooper's going to bring out, because we usually play five at the back, but I think with the limited um, defensive players that we have, I'm not too sure if we'd want to do that. But yeah, I'm interested to see what um, line-up he's going to bring out. And I think it'll be... Um, well, I think we should win the game, and I think we can win as well. Yeah, so now uh, on to the injury news for both teams. So I'll start off with rather than one. I believe ex Swansea uh, Academy player Sean McDonald, the midfielder, still out injured after three months, I believe. Um, and also Kieran Sadly, I think, as well, another one of their players um, injured. But Luke will give you the Swansea injury news as well. Yeah, so um, the three players that are out for us is Brandon Cooper. I think he's still a bit long term, still a good couple of months for him. Um, and the two other players are Liam Cullen and Wayne Routledge. They're probably out for a good couple of weeks or possibly a bit longer. Yeah, that's true, no update on them so far. Um, but now on to the key players for both teams. Starting off a rather run, I've gone with Matt Crux, he's a good midfielder, um, tall midfielder as well, he scored a goal against us. Um, I remember in the 4-3 win at the Liberty, what a game yeah. that was, but anyway, he scored a goal and he did really well that game and he's been quite impressive for them. Uh, but yeah, would you add anyone else? No, I'd sit with him, I think he's in quality. Yeah, and now on to the, our our players. Uh, so I'm going to highlight two. Andre Ayew, uh, obviously enough said about him, he's um, one of the best players in the league, scores goals. He's on a bit of a goal drought at the minute, but he's yeah. a great player um, on and off the pitch. Uh, helps the young players as well. And I'll also say Connor Horahan as well after that free kick, just shows the quality he's got and hopefully a lot more to come. Um, but we'll just have to see. But yeah, would you add anyone else? Um, yeah, I'd add Conor Roberts. I think he's got good attacking intent and for um, full-backs these days. need someone who can go forward, attack, cross, um, put some good crosses in. And his passing's actually quite decent as well. So um, I'd also add Roberts in there as well. Yeah, so now onto the lineup. So um, it's not for me. We can go to Freddie Woodman. Obviously, he made some crucial saves. Um, it was a one-on-one -on -one as well. Josh De Silva, I think it was. Um, kept that out uh, really good um, and made some other decent saves as well which probably kept us in the game while it was still nil nil um, but yeah so I go him and goal right wing back Connor Roberts been excellent once again left wing back I'd actually put Ryan Manning in because Jake Bidwell he's been playing well uh, but it's Ryan Manning has been playing well when he comes on I think he deserves a chance and also as well as I think uh, Bidwell deserves a rest and then three at the back obviously Norton's injured uh, suspended sorry um, and Ryan Bennett is he's uh, recovered, but I wouldn't risk putting him in yet. So I'd go with Joel Atabodier, uh, Ben Cabango, and I'd go with Mark Gray as well. They've been solid. And then in two midfield, I'd go with Matt Grimes and Jay Fulton. In the cam spot, I would go with Connor Horahan and up front, Ayo and Low. But yeah, what's your team? Um, yeah, and goal also for Freddie Woodman. I think he's been quality for us this season, and I hope we sign him on the permanent in the summer. Um, and right back, I'll go for Connor Roberts. Left back, I'll go for. I think I'll go for Ryan Manning in left back just for squad rotation reasons. I think he does deserve a start. Um, I, I, I wouldn't say he's been overplayed, but I think he's had enough game time as he deserves, and I think it's time for Manning to have a shot. Um, I am, by the way, I'm going to go for, I'm going to go for a 4 2 3 1 formation, so two CDMs, Cam, left back, right mid, sorry, though. Um, so two centre backs, Kabango and Kihai. Um, two CDMs, um, both Grimes and Fulton. Um, Tap in the field, I'll go for, go for Connor Hohan. On the right, Jamal Rowe. On the left, a surprising debut for jo uh, Jordan Morris. And up front, I'll go for Andre Ayew. 
Uh, yeah, um, so, yeah, that's a good lineup. So now on to score predictions, lastly. So for me, um, oh, it's going to be tough. Um, I'm going to go with a 2 0 win, though. I'm going to say goals from Con Roberts, I think, will get back on the score sheet. And I'm also going to go with. I'm going to go with Ayu to get back on the score sheet as well. So Ayu and Roberts, 2 0 win. What's your prediction? Um. Um, I think I'm going for the same as the last game. I think I'm going for a 2 1 win. Uh, I, think, I think Crocs will score for them. And for us, I think it'll be. Ooh, um, I think it'll be Connor Hohan once again. And I think it'll be. I think Jamal will get back on the score sheet. Yeah, so that's it for this preview. Thanks for watching. We'll be back for the match reaction, so stay tuned.